Hi everyone, this short video will show you how to find information to answer question number 7 on your NRES 151 Library Exercise Practice Form. Question 7 asks us to use a database to find a specific article. First, let's talk quickly about what a library database is and why you might want to use one. First, a database is a collection of items, many of those being journal articles. They're all bundled up by vendors who sell them as collections uh, in subs subscriptions to libraries. Databases can be either multidisciplinary or specific to a certain discipline. The one we'll use today is a natural resource and environmental science database, and it's sold to us by a uh, vendor named EBSCO. And when you're searching a database, you are using another search interface that follows the same searching themes that we've been using throughout this assignment. And a second reason you may want to use a database is to cut down on the number of results you may get. Remember, databases are one of those sources that help populate search at UW, which is our primary search tool. So if you want to bypass the thousands of results that you'd likely get by searching search at UW, you could use a multidisciplinary or a subject-specific article database and cut down on the number of results you would get. Databases are much more targeted in the type and scope of content, content that you'll find, so should it, you should expect to see much more precise results. So let's take a look at question number seven. It's asking us to use a specific database titled Wildlife and Ecology Studies Worldwide, and we're supposed to find an article by somebody named MacDonald that was published in 2005 on the pregnancy detection of the red panda. Part A asks us to cite the article uh, following the ecology style citation format. And part B asks us a question, um, what three groups of female pandas were monitored for their hormone profiles? And it gives you a hint to read the abstract. And remember, an abstract is the summary of the article. So let's start on the library's homepage at www.uwsp.edu slash library. Under the search at UW box, you'll see a link to titled Find Databases. Go ahead and click on that link and it should take you to a listing of all of the databases that we have that we subscribe to at UWSP and you can see there's over 281 databases. Now they're arranged either by subject, by the type of database, by the vendor, or alphabetically from A to Z. We know that ours is titled Wildlife and Ecology Studies Worldwide, so let's go ahead and click on the W, and it takes us to 14 databases that start with W. If you look alphabetically on the list, you'll see ours is the fourth one on the list, and to get access to it, we're going to click on the hyperlink to title, and it will take us to the database. If you're off campus, you'll be prompted for your UWSP uh, credentials. And here is our search interface. Now that we are at the search interface, you'll see some search boxes. Let's use the box at the top. And remember, when you put in your search terms, try to leave out uh, words like a, and, of, or the. Leave out punctuation unless it's absolutely necessary. Try just using the author's last name. And if you have specific phrases that you want, use quotes around them. But remember, just use essential terms. For this question, we're given several clues. Uh, one of the authors is McDonald. It's about uh, pregnancy detection in Red Panda. And it's a 2005 article. Let's run our search. And after running my search, I see that I have one result. So one item in this database matches the search terms that we put in that search box. And again, you've got a very, very precise result because, first of all, you're in a uh, discipline-specific database and you used really precise search terms, leaving out extraneous words. If you needed to, notice there are limiters here on the left-hand side of the page. You could use those if you had 
many more results. In this case, we only have one. Taking a look at the title of the article, Pregnancy Dete Detection from Fecal Progestin Concentrations in the Red Panda, and it gives you a scientific name. That's the title of the article by somebody named McDonald, and it's a 2005 article. So based on these clues, this looks like the right item. We can go ahead and get into the item by clicking on that hyperlink title, and it takes us to the record for that item. And we have to do, we have to answer two parts to the question. Part A, we're looking for those elements of a citation and ecology style. Here's the title of our article. Notice you have a scientific name and in ecology style you need to italicize that. So that's the article title. Here's all of your authors for the article and ecology style. You need to identify them all in the citation. Here's the title of our journal that that article is coming from. The journal title is Zoo Biology. It's a 2005 uh, article, volume 24, and starts on page 419, and it's 11 pages long. So these folks, this vendor, didn't give us the page range, but they told us it starts on page 419, and we can figure out that the ending page is 429 just by doing the math because it's 11 pages long. So that answers part A. Part B, uh, we need to find the abstract and in this particular record for the um, article they did give us the abstract. Now many times it may not show up in the record in the library database but this time it did. Um, and by reading this abstract we should be able to answer our question. You can see right here hormone profiles were monitored in three groups of females mated with birth, mated no birth, and not paired. So that would be the answer to your question. If you did not find the abstract in the library record you could go up to the linked full text hyperlink. If you click on that it should take you out to the article. By clicking on that link, we are taken out to the publisher's page, landing page for the article, Wiley Online Library. Zoo Biology is the journal. Here is the article title, and here is the abstract again. And if you wanted the actual article, you could click on this PDF link and it would take you out to the full text of the article. So with that, this video has shown you how to look for an article in a library database.